Hello and welcome back to this video guys. So in this video I am going to go through the brand new diagnostic machine that we have purchased. So this one that I have purchased this time is a bit different to the others and I'm going to reveal it for you all. Um, it's brand new and it is basically ordered on Amazon. Um, so I will put the link in so you guys can actually get it as well. Um, I'll explain at later videos as well as to why I have gone for this diagnostic machine um, and not something else. So I'll rip it open and we'll go through it together. Here we are. This is the other box. There we go, guys. We've got the launch X431 Pro TT this time. And this, I take it, is the box with all the other bits in. To be fair, I have to say it's well packaged, so that's the first box. Second one, and within the second one it contains this one, which was in there. This one was in there, so... And just ripped off the seal. Put the seal there. Oh, I'm going lock in here. So, here we are. So let's have a look. That is quite tough and secure. That's good news. We need them sort of things in this sort of game, especially in the diagnostic world where you're working on a lot of cars and whatnot. So here we are. This is the other box. Right here. So this is fascinating to be fair. I've never really. Uh, Usually, generally, they're in, they're in like um, one box. Like the hotel that I have, um, if you look at the previous videos, it's all in one box. But there's positive and negative in this. So let's have a look. First thing first. That is pretty damn tidy. This is lovely. So let's have a look. See what adapters and whatnot it comes with. So in here we have the OBD the charger, and that's the cable for it. So we'll have a look in a second. That's the adapter on and off. We'll have a look at it later on as well. Let's just pop it in there for now. Let's see what's in this one. There we go. Okay, okay, so. Um, well, if you're going to start asking me, that'll be for BM, maybe. BM, maybe, I can't remember. There, are, I, have, I have done a few old cars, old classic cars. This may be for Merc. Um, I don't know, I could be wrong. But you know what? When the day comes, you can all use it. There is a few different adapters. I'm trying to think what that'll be for. Um, well, that'll be the codes for the cars, anyways. But um, yeah, there's a variety of OBD cables, which I have also got with the hotel. But what I like about this, do you know what? This is more. This will probably make more sense. So. As standard nowadays, all the cars that we use OBD wise is this here. This is for the old classic cars, I'm not gonna lie. The hotel is a big, massive, hefty, hefty um, box that you carry, which is a ball ache, especially if you've got a bad back and whatnot. Well, in the mechanic world, it's never good anyway, but um, I, I, to be fair, I never use any of these books. You know, it's what, if you need to use it, it is there. Um, it comes. That's the car charger. I don't know. That'll be for, probably be for coding a program, and I'm not sure. I'll we'll dig in at a later stage anyway. Um, but the thing that you need at all times <clears throat> is literally this, this, and that. Done. And that's why they've done it in two separate boxes, which is very, very good. And I bet they've done a lot of trial and errors, and there's been a lot of reviews, and people have said, look, you need them in two different sections. And you know what? I will shut this for now. That's that one out of the way. 
That's that box, okay? This, and then, ladies and gentlemen, is the Bunch X431 Pro TT, as you can see at the top. Um, that's the OBD, as we said. So, as a start, obviously, we'll try and look at the updates it has. Um, software update. We'll have to sort everything out, pair it to the Wi-Fi, and then take things from there. So now that I've connected to the Wi-Fi through that, it's pretty, very, very identical to all tell, I'm not going to lie. Like, even the uh, the settings, yes, exactly identical. Just good, anyway, because it's a very smooth and uh, pretty damn easy settings. So I'm going to System Update, Download. We'll just leave that running, new version will be uploaded, and then we'll move on to the other sections, you know, like the car. And hopefully that should do it. So... We'll leave that there, and we'll see how it all goes. That is what it's doing now. We'll leave that until it's done the full update. All done. Um, they're quite important to be fair. If you're, um, you know, working on the car and you get stuck and you have a mate that knows what to do, um, they can use Team View. Press the wrong bit. So let's move on to the next stage. Software update. Um, so we'll have to register. So let's do that registration and then we'll no. move on to the next thing. It took me a few goes, probably all in all three, four minutes to do. Now inside this here as well, which is pretty damn clever, it's the activation code, um, which is brilliant. To be fair. I'm not going to lie, they've hidden it quite well. See code inside there. So update immediately. Um, these are the thing that it, these are the things that it's going to update. Highly recommend it. Just update it. You might as well do it overnight anyway. Update. Some will be pretty quick. Some will take some time, as you can see. But we'll leave it running anyway. There's 116 to, to be updated. Leave it running. Once it's all done, we'll then move on to it. But in the meantime, I'm just going to show you, actually. Um, so, you've got these two ports. USB there. Uh, Type-C. Um... This is how you turn it on, and it's quite, I mean, how can I put it? It's quite handy. It's not annoying. It's really handy. Um, it, um, if I uh, say it's not the lightest thing, it's quite nice and, um, let's say, not, not lightweight. You know, you know you've paid for something quite decent because it's not cheap stuff and it's not very lightweighted in that sense. Um You've got your camera there, which probably comes handy when you're doing, like, coding a headlight, I guess, or, you know, doing a QR code. It, it does become handy there. Um, and screen size is, as you can see, I mean, it's pretty decent. Um, it's, it's seeable and it's very touchy, sensitive, very nice. I like that. Um, I will go through the rest uh, tomorrow. And these are the cables, by the way. These are the cables I say that you don't need to use. Um, there they are in them. Pretty good. So we'll leave that there anyway. Um, but we'll go through everything at a later stage. We'll let this uh, do its job. So everything's done. Um, now, there's no other page on this, but if we go into a local diagnosis, and these are all the vehicles that we can kind of diagnose. You know, Jack, John, quite some some fancy cars in this that aren't in my hotel machine, which is good news. Um, there is a fair amount. Okay, and you purchases. What can you purchase? I don't, to be fair, there's everything in there, but what is there to purchase? Oh, you've got a lot more in these. Wow. Oh, to be fair, I've not, I've not even heard of these vehicles uh, myself. I, I don't even know what they are. Like, um, but passenger vehicles, whatever that is, motorcycles as well. Uh, electric vehicles, I take it they are. Um... So these are like come at a price. So 
Let's go back onto uh, passenger. Oh, sorry. Let's let's come off this. Okay. So if we go on to, I'm just gonna look at. So it doesn't have Tesla that I can see. So you had to purchase that. Uh, that's a bit bad. It's not good. But anyway, I'm. Who knows? I could be wrong. It may be a case of just plugging in your work, but. Uh, there's a lot of things, so let's just go back on this again. It's for your mobilizer. Electric vehicles. Mm. Is all. So we'll have to dig in it another time on that. But, uh, yeah. Hold on. There's a lot of things on here that I've not even heard of, really. I wonder, like, I wonder if you have to have that to work for this country's. Let's go to H. I don't know, it's there, so I, I really don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, there's, there's these vehicles, which is good. I'm sure there'll be BMW and whatnot. Um, vehicle coverage. I'll have to dig in it another day, but I just wanted to show you all. So these are all the e-models. One series and one other. There's like, oh, so many pages. I will not dig into that now, but, um, Okay. Trying to connect with the Bluetooth, which obviously is not plugged in, but we'll leave that for another time. Uh, but guys, look, this is pretty damn good. So far, so good. Okay. We'll dig in at another time on another uh, video. And uh, we'll hopefully go through it all and see what could, like functions it has, like live data and whatnot. But this is the new diagnostic machine we have.